Welcome back to part four. We'll rip straight into it. This is um, putting together a little bit of a dashboard report using the training diary from parts one, two, and three that we've been through already. Uh, what I have done in between since you last visited was add in just a little bit of summary information to what we've already put together in our team master page. So what I have done is create a little box which is total load. All of these are just direct cell references to these two columns J and K. For example, just so that it's really easy to draw some of these graphs. What I did below that was a, wake, uh, a weekly breakdown of load, dividing up sport load and S&C load. So as you can see, I simply sum together all of the sport loads and all of the S&C loads for our two selected options. So I'm going to draw a dashboard now, uh, start drawing three graphs to, to get a dashboard going. Uh, the first thing we can do is we can directly produce a graph from here. So insert uh, we'll just choose a column graph for now. That looks fine to me. I am going to move the chart to our report page. Cool. Pull this across a little bit. Make the colours a bit more pleasant to look at. Fix the axis. Make the grid lines a little bit lighter. And there we go, that's not a bad start. I'd put a bit of a title on here. Uh, we can do that in a second. Next thing I will do is insert a perhaps a line graph and see what a column graph looks like. Yep, perhaps let's use that. Same as before. Move it to the report page. I'm going to try something here. It should work just fine. Click on the graph so that it's selected. Copy. Click on graph 2. Go paste special formats. And it's formatted it for us with exactly the same settings as we had up here. It's not exactly what we wanted because if you remember we put a fixed axis options in there. So if I take that off, it's made things a little bit quicker. What I didn't do up here is get the right data labels. We would like to have these as our data labels. Now it might mess the graph up a little bit, but we can we can solve that um, when we're formatting things up at the end anyway. So we've got wellness, we've got training load. Um, our third graph. Let's see how this comes out. I think I'll do is a little pie chart. Put one there. No. 
another pie chart, put it next to it. What I'll probably do once I've sort of got things how I how I like it. It's always a little bit fiddly, but um, let's assume that we're happy enough with how it looks. I would take away the border color, and that way. It's not as important that you have the legends here, sport load, S and C load on both graphs. You can just have it on one graph. What I'm just gonna do just so so we can see how it looks is okay. Works okay, great. I'd reformat these colours. Let's see if I can do this quickly up here. Uh, blue and Perhaps see how that works. Not bad. Okay, so we've got that as one option for a, a dashboard graph. The other one might be to let's see if it works for us. Sometimes you have to have things laid out a certain way. That might also be uh, a good chart to use instead of those pies. So it comes down to your own preference. You can play around with different types of presentation of information. You might want to pull through a couple of tables um, and uh, and have a, a, a dashboard that has a mix of graphs and tables in it. Some people just like looking at, at pretty things so uh, graphs can, can work pretty well. So aside from formatting up this report and, and pulling things through there's not that much more to do other than a little bit of tidying up so what I like to do with mine if I click on the diary page select the first column that's got no data in it I might actually just make that narrow go to the next one hold down control shift right arrow and select hide. Find the second row after the bottom, control shift down arrow and hide that as well. Um, I might put a little logo in here. I will pardon me I will typically do uh, a bit more work around having the, con the team master page go all the way down. So far I've put in four weeks of, of possible space, but um, you could put a whole lot more in. You might want to have the ability to, uh, and I typically do it up here where I've done some of this workings or, or next to week, week number two, put an average table in so that it averages all of Joe, all of John's, all of Richard's, all of Jason's weekly data so that you've got a weekly average as an option as well and you may want to uh, have that as, a, as one of your options amongst this so you can plot uh, this week's team average versus the overall team average from the 15 weeks of data that you've collected. Either way there's plenty of options and it's, it's following the same principles that we have been using thus far just continuing to add new ideas, tidy up reports, make these graphs look a bit better, get rid of all the grid lines, put a, a nice consistent colour scheme in place, take away borders of graphs and, and so on and so on. So uh, I'll leave that to you. Start playing around and when you come up against some problems drop me a line and I'll see if I can help you out.